Hello everyone and welcome to Learn by Watch. This is Bootstrap 5 from scratch. In today's video, we will be covering model from Bootstrap and we will see how it works. So let's get started. Okay, so let's move to model. For that, I'll just click on get started. Then go to components and scroll down and select model. It's here. So what model is, when you click on a button, this pop-out will come out. How? I will show you a live demo which is available on bootstrap, getbootstrap.com. You can see that now a model with title, close and save changes is popped out. You click on close. So there are several of these uh, model titles which are available to us. So this is just a model. Right. It, this does not have a button to trigger this model, this code. So we are going to go with this one which has a button which will trigger our model and then the model. So let's copy this one to our web page. Now this is a web page. I like this is the HTML file. I've already copy pasted the getting started links, which was the starter template that we saw in the very first video. If you have missed that video, that video is very important to get started with Bootstrap. So do check that out. So I've just pasted the button trigger and the model over here. So you can see this model has a title. Then a button as well. Then we have model body where we can add stuff. Then we have model footer. So if we add like some stuff here, like this, and save it. And then we have saved it now. So now let's go back to our page and refresh. We have this launch demo model button. When you click on this, you get this model with all of these text which I added. This is your model body. Then two buttons close and save changes. Save changes does not do anything for now but close is working. So these, are, these are the buttons. And this is data BS dismiss equal to model. That means close the model. This part is responsible for when you click on this button close. It closes it. Whereas there, here you don't have any such attribute so it does not do anything at all. So this is how you can simply add model to your page. Now let's see other kinds of model that are available on Bootstrap. Then we have static backdrop. So difference between those two I will tell you. So let's go back here. I click there. I clicked outside the model. Like this is the model and I click outside the model and it just closed. I did not click on close. I am clicking outside the model and it closes. Whereas the static one will not close when I click outside. I'll just show you here once. When I'm clicking outside, I'm clicking outside, nothing is happening. You can see that this one is popping out and in. But when I click on here, close, then it closes. So this is what a static one looks like. Then we have scrolling long content one as well. So it has long content and I'm scrolling. You can see here the scroll bar scrolls. And then I close it. Similarly, I have many of them, them here, vertically centered. You can see this one is centered, whereas if you see the other, the very first one, it was on the top, just like your alert in JavaScript, simple alert. It just came on the top, this one was static and so on. So there are many models that you can go through. Then similarly, there are all of these breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. Then alert, all of these. It's very simple to add them. You just have to copy the code and put it inside. So that inside your HTML file. That's all you have to do. So all of these, you can go through them on your own. And this carousel is like uh, a slideshow kind of a thing, which you can also add to your web page. Then there is navbar. Navbar is nothing but what this bootstrap is having, this purple line. That is a navbar. You can see how... They have given their nav by examples that you can also add into your page. So this is it for today's video. See you in the next one. I believe now you'll be able to work with Bootstrap model with ease. If you have any doubts, please put them down below in the comment section and I will help you. In the next session, we'll be covering Bootstrap grid system, which is very, very important. So do check that video out.
If you like this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. And even subscribe to Learn by Watch for more such courses. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.